Hi everyone, I thought I'd read you a story today. I'm still going to do my normal video, but I thought I'd just read you a book as well. Um, today I've got a really special book for you uh, to read. It's one of my absolute favourite books, um, and it's called uh, The Boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse. Now, some of you may know this book. Um, I'm reading it for a really special reason today, actually, because um, it's my mum's birthday today, and she loves this book. So, I thought I would read this to you. You might need to get comfy. It's quite a long book, and I will try and read it as best as I possibly can. So, the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. I'll try and show you the pictures as well. So. Hello. I'm so small, said the mole. Yes, said the boy. But you make a huge difference. What do you want to be when you grow up? Kind, said the boy. What do you think success is? asked the boy. To love, said the mole. Well, hello. Do you have a favourite saying? asked the boy. Yes, said the mole. What is it? said the boy. If at first you don't succeed, have some cake. I see. Does it work? Every time. Just a tiny little taste. I got you a delicious cake, said the mole. Did you? Yes. Where is it? I ate it, said the mole. Oh. But I got you another. Did you? Well, where's that one? The same thing seems to have happened. What do you think is the biggest waste of time? Comparing yourself to others, said the mole. I wonder if there is a school of unlearning. Most of the old moles I know wish they had listened to their fears and listen less to their fears and more to their dreams. What is that over there? John brings a bit closer so you can see the pictures. It's the wild, said the mole. Don't fear it. Imagine how we would be if we were less afraid. I'm not afraid, said the mole. If I wasn't caught in this snare, I'd kill you, said the fox. If you stay in that snare, you'll die, said the mole. So the mole chewed through the wire with his tiny teeth. One of our greatest freedoms is how we react to things. I've learned how to be in the present. How? asked the boy. I find a quiet spot and shut my eyes and breathe. That's good. And, and then? Then I focus. What do you focus on? Cake, said the mole. Isn't it odd? We can only see our outsides, but nearly everything happens on the inside. Be careful not to fall, fall. So much beauty we need to look after. Being kind to yourself is one of the greatest kindnesses, said the book mole. We often wait for kindness, but being kind to yourself can start now, said the mole. Often, the hardest person to forgive is yourself. Sometimes I feel lost, said the boy. Me too, said the mole. But we love you, and love brings you home. I think everyone is just trying to get home, said the mole. Hello. Hello. 
Doing nothing with friends is never doing nothing, is it? asked the boy. No, said the mole. You fell, but I've got you. Everyone is a bit scared, said the horse, but we are less scared together. Tears fall for a reason, and they are your strength, not your weakness. What is the bravest thing you've ever said? asked the boy. Help, said the horse. When have you been at your strongest? asked the boy. When I've dared to show my weaknesses. Asking for help isn't giving up, said the horse. It's refusing to give up. Sometimes I worry you'll all realise I'm ordinary, said the boy. Love doesn't need you to be extraordinary, said the mole. We all need a, we all need a reason to keep get going, said the horse. What's yours? You, there, said the fox. Go and getting home, said the boy. Cake, said the mole. I've discovered something better than cake. No, you haven't, said the boy. I have, replied the mole. Well, what is it? A hug. It lasts longer. Nothing beats kindness, said the horse. It sits quietly beyond all things. Sometimes, said the horse. Sometimes what? asked the boy. Sometimes just getting up and carrying on is brave and magnificent. How do they look so together and perfect? asked the boy. There's a lot of frantic paddling giving going on beneath, said the horse. The greatest illusion, said the mole, is that life should be perfect. Is it the moon? asked the boy. It's a teacup stain, said the mole. And where there's tea, there's cake. Be curious. Life is difficult, but you are loved. So, you know all about me? asked the boy. Yes, said the horse. And you still love me? We love you all the more. Sometimes I think you believe in me more than I do, said the boy. You'll catch up, said the horse. The fox never really speaks, whispered the boy. No, and it's lovely he is with us, said the horse. To be honest, I often feel I have nothing interesting to say, said the fox. Being honest is always interesting, said the horse. There's something I haven't told you, said the horse. What's that, said the boy. I can fly, but I stopped because it made other horses jealous. Well, we love you, whether you can fly or not. Okay. Is your glass half empty or half full? asked the mole. I think I'm grateful to have a glass, said the boy. We don't know about tomorrow, said the horse. All we need to know is that we love each other. When the dark clouds come, keep going. When the big things feel out of control, focus on what you love right under your nose. The storm will pass. After the storm. We have such a long way to go, sighed the boy. Yes, but look how far we've come, said the horse. Sometimes I want to say I love you all, said the mole, 
but I find it difficult. Do you? said the boy. Yes. So I say something like, I'm glad we're all here. OK, said the boy. I'm glad we're all here. We are so glad you're here too. What's your best discovery? asked the mole. That I'm enough as I am, said the boy. I've realised why we're here, whispered the boy. For cake, said the mole. No, to love, said the boy, and be loved, said the horse. What do we do when our hearts hurt, asked the boy. We wrap them with friendship, share the tears and time, till they wake hap happily and happy again. Do you have any other advice? asked the boy. Don't measure how valuable you are by the way you are treated, said the horse. Always remember you matter, you're important and you are loved and you bring this to the world. Things that nobody else can. Home isn't always a place, is it? Thank you. It's not the end. Look how far we've come. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. I absolutely love that book. And like I said, I know my mum does too, and it's her birthday. So happy birthday, mum. I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.